to Podcasting 101 with me, your host, Rachel. This podcast is for female business owners and solopreneurs that are looking to start a podcast to add to your own already awesome offering. I'll give you helpful advice that you can take away and use in your podcasting journey. I hope to answer those tricky questions that just keep you from starting. Once a month, I'll be joined by other female podcasters. They'll share their journey with you and offer tips and advice they discovered along the way. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome to this week's episode. This week, I want to look at why podcasts are great for your business. I think podcasts work really well for you and your business. They are a really valuable piece of content that you can create. Podcasts enable you to build your authority in your zone of genius. You do this by creating content that you you are creating the content for your audience that you know will resonate with them and then solidifying your position as an authority in your area. It is also a great way for potential clients uh, to get to know you better and could be um, the deciding factor in whether they would like to work with you because you're showcasing your personality, um, how you think, your ideas And then obviously that all important, building your authority so they could listen to your podcast and um, yeah, be the deciding factor that they want to work with you. Podcasts are a chance to forge a personal connection with your listeners. It's like a one-on-one conversation with them. They are taking you around with them while they're listening in their ears and it's just such a personal way in which you can talk to them. So that is where they work incredibly well. And because you've got this listenership, your audience, it's podcasts can be a way to create that all important engagement with them. You know, you're you're getting to know your audience better by having your podcast. You can ask questions, you can take episode ideas from the content that your audience is putting out there. You're paying attention to them and you're showing them you're listening to them by creating your podcast content for them. And then your podcast can help your marketing overall. You know, your podcast is part of your marketing. It's not a separate entity. And in creating this you know, amazing piece of content on perhaps a weekly basis, this will then lead into helping you create the content for the rest of your marketing for your business. You know, you can utilise the content from your podcast episodes into blogs for your email marketing, different types of social media posts, audio and visual clips, all these things. The podcast is helping you streamline those things. That is where, I mean, for myself... My podcast episodes is my main piece of content. And then, as I just said, I create the other pieces of content around the episode. It can bring up um, specific questions that you might want to expand upon um, in that from that episode. You if you've got guests coming on, you might be learning something that you never knew before. And that can be a really great way to promote your episode. You can also put your podcast on your website and when you drive people to listen to your podcast through your website, you're driving more traffic to your website, increasing your SEO and then also when you repurpose your podcast into the different types of content I mentioned, you know, have especially blogs, having those on your website, it's all really valuable long form content that will help your search rankings which is helping, which will then help more people find you and see how awesome you are. It's important to point out as well that podcasting is a growing market. They have got exponentially uh, more popular, especially since COVID. I think I think they were growing anyway, but I think that um, COVID kind of like imploded that because a lot of people, you know, did podcasts 
around the pandemic and, and things like that. And, and we were just at home more. So that increased it. Here's a little stat for you. According to Buzzsprout, um, the number of podcast listeners has grown 29.5% over the last three years. I mean, that's quite a, a large portion of growth. Uh, in the UK, 50% of adults have listened to a podcast and 25% are regular listeners. That is a really, you know, big chunk of people there. And I don't want you getting thinking that, oh, mate, there's so many podcasts out there, it's grown so much, my podcast is not going to cut through the noise. But the market is not saturated. If you compare the amount of blogs to podcasts, then the number of podcasts is still relatively low. And we all know the value of a well-written blog. This should not stop you from benefiting from everything that a podcast can do for you and your business. So to recap, why are podcasts great for your business? You can build your authority in your zone of genius. It gives your potential clients a chance to get to know you better, forging a personal connection with them and helping to create that all important engagement. I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode and you've got something out of it. If you have any questions, then please let me know. I would love to hear from you. I also offer a free 30 minute session if you have any questions around podcasting, launching or if you have a podcast already. There will be a link for that in the show notes and I would love to hear from you. That's all from me. Thanks. Bye. Thanks so much for listening. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please like, share and subscribe. Your support means so much to me. If there's a question or topic you'd like covering, then I'd love to hear from you. Find the podcast on Instagram at Rachie Botfield and drop me a DM. Till next time. Bye.